Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to study about generation of points on a circle and these points will be uniformly spaced points. So first we will derive the algorithm of how to generate uniformly spaced endpoints on the circle. So we, we call it as iterative method or algorithm to generate n uniformly spaced uniformly spaced endpoints on a circle so we will assume the circle is uh, in the standard form x square plus y square is equal to r square okay and we know that this circle has center 0 0 and radius r okay and the points of this circle in the parametric form so what are the parametric equations so the parametric equations are x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta so any point on this circle is of the form x comma y which is r cos theta and r sin theta where theta varies from 0 to 2 pi so this is the angle theta it varies from 0 to 2 pi now we want to generate n equis n uniformly spaced points so we will assume the first point is here so i'm going to call it p1 Suppose the second point is here, it is P2. The third point is, say it is here and so on. So let me call this point ith point. This point is i plus one point and so on. The story continues. We get all the points are equispaced. And the nth point is again the same point p1 okay so let us uh, say these are the end points generated so let me call this pn say sorry so pn plus one point will be again p1 okay so here if i look at the first point the first point we can obviously tell the coordinates of the first point the first point is what r comma zero because the radius of the circle is r correct so what is what are the coordinates of this point pi the coordinates of this point the angle is theta i so i will assume that this angle is how much this angle is theta i for the point pi should the angle is theta for the angle for the point pi plus one the angle i will assume to be sorry i root ri this angle i'm going to denote by theta i plus one so what are the coordinates of this point the coordinates of this point is r cos theta i and r sine theta i whereas the coordinates of pi plus one will be r cos theta i plus 1 r sin theta i plus 1 right so what is the what is the relation between point pi and pi plus 1 okay so if you look at this theta i and theta i plus 1 their difference their difference is the same difference between p1 and p2 in this angle 
P1 and P2, P2 and P3 has angle difference, same. PI and PI plus 1 have the same angle difference because all the points are what? All the points are uniformly spaced on the circle. So that angle I'm going to call it delta theta. So this angle is the, the angle between P2 and P3 is also delta theta. The angle between PI and PI plus 1 is also how much? Delta theta. So basically what we observed here is that let me write this now. So let the point PI be R cos theta I and R sin theta I and PI plus 1 is R cos theta I plus 1 r sin theta i plus 1 where what is delta theta where delta theta is theta i plus 1 minus theta i equivalently i'm trying to say that theta i plus 1 is equal to delta theta plus theta i what is point P1? P1 is the point R comma 0. And P1, P2, Pn are n points on circle which are uniformly spaced. Okay. So I will not repeat it again. They are uniformly spaced. Now if I look at Pi plus 1. What is pi plus 1? It is xi plus 1, yi plus 1. Let's look at the diagram. This point is xi plus 1, yi plus 1. What is pi? pi is xi and yi, which is r cos theta i, r sin theta. So let me write it here also xi, yi, and this is xi plus 1 y i plus 1. Okay, now what is x i plus 1? It is equal to r cos theta i plus 1 r sin theta i plus 1 which is equal to r cos delta theta plus theta i this formula comma r sin delta theta plus theta i which is equal what is cos of a plus b this cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so it is r cos theta i cos delta theta minus r sin theta i sin delta theta comma sine of a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b which is equal to r sine theta i cos delta theta plus r sine cos theta i sine delta theta which is equal to what is r cos theta i? What is r sin theta i? r sin theta i and r cos theta i. As per our notions, r cos theta i is xi and r sin theta i is yi. So, you will get this becomes r cos theta is xi cos delta theta minus yi sin delta theta my comma yi cos delta theta plus xi sin delta theta okay now so this is a formula for what this was a formula for pi plus one okay 
can we write this in the form of a matrix can we write this in the form of a matrix if i try to write it in the form of matrix this will be let me just write it on this side this will be xi cos delta theta right yi with a minus sign delta theta then xi into cos xi into sin delta theta this multiplies this okay and this multiplies this what is this yi cos delta theta okay so this is how i'm getting this expression as product of two matrices this matrix is one by two this matrix is two by two so the output matrix is also one by two who is that one by two matrix that matrix is xi plus one yi plus one so this gives me the recurrence formula for generation of our points xi yi multiplied by matrix cos delta theta sin delta theta minus sin delta theta cos delta theta so this formula is going to generate our end points so given point xi yi from this formula what do you observe if you give me xi yi i will multiply that xi yi with this matrix and i will get the next point okay so this is the algorithm to generate the end points now what is delta theta what is delta theta and do you observe in the in the diagram above we have written that this the, we have to divide the circle into n equal parts so what must be this angle how much must be this angle if you want n equal equal angles obviously delta theta must be the total angle divided by what divided by n what is n how many points you want to generate if you want to generate four points right how much parts what is what is must be each angle it must be 2 pi divided by 4 which is pi by 2 that is 90 degrees all angles are equal okay so this is a general formula for delta theta to, to develop n points on a circle okay now let us take one simple problem to understand this so question generate uniformly spaced six points on a circle x square plus y square equal to 16 so your radius is 4 because it is of the form x square plus y square equal to 4 square the first point that we choose is always given by what it was x1 y1 and we have decided to choose it as, choose it as r comma 0 so here point p1 is 4 comma 0 okay what is delta theta we need delta theta in this problem it is 2 pi divided by n so delta theta will turn out to be 2 pi upon 6 this pi by 3 okay so what is the matrix then what is the formula iterative formula xi plus 1 yi plus 1 is equal to xi yi into cos delta theta sine delta theta minus sine delta theta cos delta 
theta, which is equal to xi plus 1, comma. So I'm calling this now pi plus 1. Fine, if, if I call it pi plus 1, no issue. Is equal to pi multiplied by cos 60, which is cos pi by 3, sine pi by 3, minus sine pi by 3, cos pi by 3. So we will use our calculator and use the radians mode. Remember this, do not use the degree mode, it is in the radians mode. So it is pi cos pi by 3 is 0.5 sin pi by 3 will be 0 0.8666 minus 0 0.8666 and 0 0.5. So this is the formula to generate the 6 equispaced points okay what will be p1 i'm recalling what is p1 p1 was 40 using p1 i will find p2 p2 will be what p1 multiplied by this particular matrix and i will continue this process okay Right, and so on. What will be the formula for P3? P3 will be P2 multiplied by this particular matrix. The matrix does not, rotation matrix does not change, and so on. I will go on doing this till P6 is equal to P5 multiplied by the same rotation matrix. Fine. Now we will switch to our Scilab. So I will switch to Scilab. In Scilab, I will generate these six points. And once I get those six points, I will then switch to GeoGebra. And there I will plot the six points. The above six points that we have obtained from Scilab, we will plot them in GeoGebra will plot the six points and then we will check whether we have got six equispaced points. Okay, so this will be our check on the circle. On the circle was what? X square plus Y square equal to 16. Okay, so we enter the matrix A which is equal to 0.5. 0.866 then second row is minus 0 0.866 and 0 0.5 so this is the matrix a now we will take the point p1 as we have decided to be 4 comma 0 then p2 will be equal to p1 star the matrix a p3 will be the matrix p2 star a P4 will be the point uh, P3 star A. P5 will be equal to P4 star A. And P6 will be equal to P5 star A. So you have obtained P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and P6. So these are the six points generated by us. Now we will go in GeoGebra and plot the approximate of these points. Now I'm going to enter the six points here. So for the first point was 4 comma 0. The next point was 2 comma 3.466. The third point was minus 2.003 comma 3.466. The fourth point was minus 4.005 comma minus 0 0.003 the fifth point was minus 1.99 comma minus 3.473 and the last point was 2.009 comma minus 3.469 
so you see the these six points are generated on the uh, graph shown in the adjoining space and what is it corresponding to it's corresponding to the circle x square plus y square equal to 16 i'm typing it here you can see it here so and you see you get the, exactly this is the circle and the five points are the six points are lying exactly on that particular circle okay so now we will generate four uniformly spaced points in the first quadrant the unit circle center at the origin so the second problem now here you have the circle is unit circle so the radius is one and we are only interested in the first quadrant right so what is the equation of this circle the equation of this circle is x square plus y square equal to one so radius is one and the equation is x squared plus y squared equal to one so here we want to generate four points this means the value of n that i will choose here will be four okay and so what is the value of delta theta here now delta theta is the total angle is uh, pi by two and i'm it's an open arc so i'm going to divide it by n minus one so what is delta theta it is pi by 2 upon 4 minus 1 is 3 so it is pi by 6 so delta theta will be equal to pi by 6 what is the first point here i'm having the first point suppose this is the second point this is the third point and this is the fourth point so i have p1 p2 p3 and p4 so what is the first point obviously the first point is nothing but 1 comma zero what is the matrix that i'm going to use here the matrix that i have is cos delta theta sine delta theta minus sine delta theta and cos delta theta which is equal to cos pi by six sine pi by six minus sine pi by six and cos pi by six in the radians mode which will give you 0 0.8666 this is 0 0.5 and this is minus 0.5 and this is again 0.8666 so this is a matrix a that i'm going to use so i'm going to generate p2 out of it which will be p1 star a p3 will be p2 star a and finally p4 will be p3 star a so let us now go to scilab and generate the four points um, the matrix is a equal to 0 0.866 0 0.5 and second column is 0 point minus 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.866 so this is the matrix a okay and what is the point one that we have decided the first point we have on the given first quadrant of the circle is one zero so what will be p2 equal to p2 will be p1 star a and p3 will be equal to what p3 will be equal to p2 star a so and p4 will be equal to p3 star a so we have got the four points and we will write them as x equal to p1 p2 p3 and p4 so that we can see all the four points so these are the four points generated on the circle now we will on the quarter circle the first quarter circle now we will go in geogebra and plot the four points so we will enter the four points here now the first point was 1 comma 0 the second point was 0 0.866 comma 0 0.5 the third point was uh, 0 0.499 comma 0 0.866 and the fourth point was 0 comma 0 0.999 so we have see see the four points are here and they are corresponding to the first quarter of the circle the circle was x square plus y square equal to one so you see they are exactly the four points of the uh, 
सर्कल एक्स वर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू वन एंड दे आर लाइंग इन द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट एंड देर इक्वी स्पेस्ट पॉइंट ओके ओके सो इन द थर्ड प्रॉब्लम नाउ वी विल जनरेट फोर यूनिफॉर्मली स्पेस्ड पॉइंट्स इन द फोर्थ एंड द फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट ऑफ द सर्कल एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर सो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर इज अ सर्कल विथ सेंटर ओरिजिन एंड रेडियस इक्वल टू टू सो हाउ डज दिस सर्कल लुक सो इट्स एन ओपन आर्क इट्स इन द फर्स्ट एंड द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट वी आर गोइंग टू गो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज एंड जनरेट द पॉइंट्स we want to generate four points so i will say suppose this is the first point so this is the second point then suppose this is the third point and this is the fourth point so this will be your p1 p2 p3 and p4 so these are the four points so what is the value of delta theta here value of delta theta the total angle is 180 degrees so it is 180 divided by 4 minus 1 because we have to generate four points so 4 minus 1 so it is 180 by 3 which is 60 degrees so we, or which will say pi by 6 sorry pi by 3 so this will be delta theta and uh, what is the matrix accordingly and what is the first point by the way what is the first point p1 this point is Given by zero minus two, so the first point is zero minus two, and what is the matrix rotation matrix that I'm going to use? I'm going to use cos delta theta, sine delta theta, minus sine delta theta, cos theta, cos delta theta, which is cos pi by three, sine pi by three, minus sine pi by three, and cos pi by three. So it is point five. Point eight six six minus point eight six six, and again point five. So this is going to be a matrix A, and the points P two will be generated by P one star A, P three will be generated by P two star A, and so on. Now we will go into Scilab and actually generate these points. and then plot them using geogebra so in this problem the matrix a is 0.5 then 0.866 the second row is minus 0.866 and 0.5 so this was the matrix a the point first we have decided to take the initial point which is on y axis which is 0, minus 2 This is the first point. So the second point generated will be P two will be P one star A. The third point will be P three, which is P two star A. One point seven three two point nine 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 and P four. This is the last point, which is P three star A. So these are the four points generated on the half circle, which is uh, which is in the first and the fourth quadrant. now we will go in geogebra and plot these points so the points that we have uh, obtained the first point was 0 minus 2 the second point came up to be 1.732 comma minus 1 the third point came up to be 1.732 0.999 the fourth point was 0 comma 1.999 so they see that these four points are exactly lying on the are a part of circle which are on the first in the, in the first and the fourth quadrant and what was that circle that circle was x square plus y square equal to 4 you see that these four points are exactly equispaced and uh, they are lying on the circle x square plus y square equal to 4 now let us take the fourth question which is uh, we are going to generate uniformly spaced six points on the circle x minus 2 square plus y minus 3 square 
equal to one. Okay, so now what we will do is before uh, is equal to 16. Sorry. So what we will do is before looking at the circle x minus 2 square plus y minus 3 square equal to 16, we will only concentrate on the circle x square plus y square equal to 16. Okay, what so what is the basic idea? We will first generate the points on this particular circle, okay, which are equispaced. Okay, now they may not look equispaced, but suppose they are equispaced six points. Okay, then this circle I will then I will first I will find all the points P1, P2, P3 using our standard above methods. Okay, this is same as problem one. If you see this is the circle same as problem one. There also we have generated six equispaced points. Okay, then I will once I generate all these uh, six points, I will shift everybody to two comma three. So I will go to two comma three. So I will use a translation matrix and I will shift the entire circle to this particular point. So I will use a translation matrix and all of us know what is a translation matrix uh, used for this. It is equal to what? It is equal to one zero zero plus zero and then zero one zero and h k one. So here what is your h and k? Here your h and k is two and three. So we are going to translate the entire object to using this matrix. So this is your translation matrix. Suppose I will later on call it some different name, maybe T1 or T2. Okay, if I need. Okay, so so what is the basic idea? I will first use this six points as X. Then I will apply the translation matrix to it. And whatever answer I will get, those will be the six points automatically will be on this particular circle. Okay, but before that, I have to take care that this translation matrix is a three by three matrix. And this X, the points X, what is a capital X matrix? Capital X matrix is X1, Y1. Then I have to instead X2, Y2 up to X6, Y6, right? And then I have to insert the homogeneous coordinates here so that I can multiply the matrix X. Now this matrix X is a six by three matrix. And this homogeneous coordinates, when I insert, I'm going to call it XH. This matrix will become of size 6 by 3. This T translation matrix will become of size 3 by 3. And therefore, the output that I'm going to get is I'm going to get what? I'm going to get again a 6 by 3 matrix where the last coordinate of each one will be 1, 1, 1 homogeneous coordinate. And these points are the points of this particular translated circle. So this will correspond to this point. The second will correspond to the second point. OK, and so on. Right. So this is our key of the problem. Now let us properly write it quickly and generate the points. So as for as for as far as I am concerned, we have already generated the six points in the problem number one. So the circle is the same. So let us uh, see what are those uh, points. So that what was the uh, what was the delta theta? If I quickly recall, what is the delta theta and from the first problem? The delta theta was pi by three. OK, and what is the matrix A? That was it. The matrix A was 0.5. 0.8666 minus 0.5 and my sorry minus 0.8666 and 0.5 and what was the initial point we started with we started with the point 4 comma 0 okay now we will go into scilab generate the six points after generating the six points we will then write the matrix x and then we will convert them into the homogeneous coordinates and we will get a 6 by 3 matrix. We will also introduce matrix T, which is a translation matrix. 
and then we will write the final solution as the homogeneous coordinates multiplied by the translation matrix. So I'm going to call that final solution as xf and these six points we will get from this particular matrix. Here we have homogeneous coordinates. Okay. And then we will go to GeoGebra and see the plotting of the points. So we get the matrix of uh, rotation matrix is a equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.866, minus 0.866 and 0.5. The first point decided was this 4, 0. Second point comes up to be this. Third point is this. Fourth point, fifth point, sixth point. So these are the six points generated because of that particular matrix. And when I write them all in, in one matrix form, it gives me these six points. Okay, so these six points are uh, the points which are uh, the points on the circle x square plus y square equal to 16. Okay, so I will convert them into the homogeneous coordinates. So because I want to apply the translation matrix there. So when I write the homogeneous in the homogeneous coordinates, these points will start looking like this. Now we know that the translation matrix by the coordinate h comma k okay is given by 1 0 0 0 1 0 and h k 1 so here h and k are 2 and 3 so this is the translation matrix therefore my final solution will be x f which i'm calling it x f is equal to this homogeneous coordinates matrix x h star the translation matrix t so i will get these to be the coordinates and therefore I will go in the graph and now I will plot the point 6, 3, 4, 6 point 4 and so on in GeoGebra and these six points will be the points which are equispaced on the actual circle which is given to us which is x minus 2 square plus y minus 3 square equal to 1. So let us go in GeoGebra and check whether that do they determine this particular thing or not. So the six points that we were we have obtained are 6, 3 the next point was 4 comma 6 point 4 6 6 the third point was 0 approximately 0 comma 6 point 4 6 6 see the you can see the generated points in the graph here let me show it here so i see i see a i don't see b because there is a point here then here also there is a point See the third point is generated. The next point, fourth point is minus 2.005 comma 2.996. So this is giving me the fourth point D. The next point is 0 comma minus 0 0.473, which is the next point E. The last point is 4.009 comma minus 0 0.469. So this gives me the sixth point and now let us expand this diagram a little bit and see that yes. So this is the these are the six points and are they forming the are they are they lying on some circle. So what was that circle that circle was x minus two whole square plus y minus 3 square equal to 16. So you see all these uh, six points are exactly lying on this particular thing and who is the center? Here you see that this point is the center of the circle. Who is the center? Let me point out the center. The center is 2 comma 3. So when I show that this 2 comma 3 comes up to be as a point G. Okay, so G becomes the center of this. So these six points are exactly generated on the translated circle.